This is one arm action cue that's been working pretty well for me lately. Um, and it's simply don't break the string or don't break the rope. So if you think about arm action isolated is as you're going through your arm action, you don't want more room on either side of the rope to be on one arm. So what I mean by that is if as you're going into your arm action, your left arm starts to stretch farther than your right arm goes back, you're stretching more on this side of the rope. And so if this could break, as we went to rotate, you'd break the rope. So essentially what that's doing is throwing the rotation on either side of your body off center. So if I show you from the front, if I'm breaking the rope on this front side, this arm is getting further out in front than this arm is getting back. And so as I go to rotate, that's gonna pull my arm forward early, right? So it's gonna pull my arm forward early. I'm not gonna have as much time to accelerate the baseball. Done properly, we're trying to keep the same amount of rope on either side, right? So that as we go and rotate, the rope never gets taut. If you pull out slightly more rope than the distance your arm action covers, right? The rope never gets taut and you can work, your arm action can work inside the distance of that rope. So from the front, that's good. One more good one. And then a bad one will look like this, right? So one more demonstration from the side. Good. One more good one. And then bad. One more bad one. 